the college basketball world was turned upside down on September 29 when the, the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York laid out findings from an FBI investigation that uncovered mass corruption, bribery and wire fraud involving some of the sport's top programs. Four assistant coaches were charged with varying violations, Tony Bland of USC, Emmanuel, Book, Richardson of Arizona, Lamont Evans of Oklahoma State and Chuck Person of Auburn. No universities nor head coaches have been charged, but the investigation is ongoing, and multiple schools, most notably, Louisville, have been implicated even if no individual from the program has been charged that yet. It's a massive story. The U.S. House's Energy and Commerce Committee has even requested a briefing on the matter. First, let's outline who the notable non-coaches named in the various suits are. Each of the following men are facing federal charges relating to bribery, James, Jim, Gatto, Adidas Global Sports Marketing Director for Basketball, Merle Code, a former player for Clemson who is now affiliated with Adidas, Manish Sood, the founder of Princeton Capital, an investment services firm that, among other ventures, manages professional athletes money, Christian Dawkins, former agent for ASM Sports Jonathan Brad Augustine, program director for the Orlando base and Adidas-sponsored One Family AAU team. Rashawn Michel, founder and owner of Thompson Bespoke Clothing, a high-end manufacturer based in Atlanta. He was reportedly indicted by a federal grand jury November. 7. Also important to note is the fact that there are three different criminal complaints, United States of America v. Lamont Evans, Emmanuel Richardson, Anthony Bland, Christian Dawkins, and Manish Sood, United States of America v. Chuck Connors Person and Rajan Michel, United States of America v. James Gatto, Merle Code, Christian Dawkins, Jonathan Brad Augustine, and Manish Sood. The scandal has received an overwhelming amount of coverage, with every piece focusing on a different aspect of the investigation. The legal documents outlining the situation are filled with legal jargon. This is an attempt to compile the most important information pertaining to each university and present it in a digestible way. Louisville Louisville finds itself engulfed in yet another embarrassing scandal, this one so salacious that even noted escape artist Rick Pitino couldn't pull another Houdini, but no coach from the university has been charged yet. Louisville is referred to in the U.S. versus James Gatto complaint, though no individual working at Louisville is named. What the complaint says, in or around May of 2017, at the request of at least one coach from University 6, Dawkins, James Gatto, A.K.A. Jim, Merle Code, Manish Sood, the defendants and other agreed to funnel $100,000, payable in four installments, from Company 1 to the family of Player 10. Shortly after the agreement with the family of Player 10 was reached in late May and early June, Player 10 publicly committed to University 6, and, later, shortly thereafter, Coach 1 left the room, and Dawkins. AUUSTINE, UC1 and CW1 proceeded to discuss the Player 10 scheme described in paragraphs 27 to 35, Supra, and, in particular, the involvement of Coach 2 in securing funding from Company 1 for Player 10's family. Dawkins, who had been negotiating directly with Player 10's family, noted that Company 1 had originally agreed to pay a certain number to Player 10's family, but that a rival athletic apparel company was coming with a higher number, such that Dawkins needed to get more from Company 1 to secure Player 20's commitment to attend University 6. Dawkins then said that he had spoken with Coach 2 about getting additional money for Player 10's family and informed Coach 2 that, I need you to call Jim Gatto, the defendant, who's the head of everything, at Company Minus One's basketball program, based on my review of call records, I am aware that on or about May 27, 2017. James Gatto, a.k.a. Jim, the defendant, had two telephone conversations with a phone number used by Coach 2, what it alleges Gatto, code and sued paid $100,000 at the request of at least one Louisville coach to player 10 to get him to commit to Louisville, have sued manage his money and sign with Adidas upon entering the NBA. Player 10 then committed to Louisville and has been suspended indefinitely, University 6 is Louisville. We know this because it's described in the suit as a public research university in Kentucky with approximately 22,640 students and 21 varsity sports teams. Louisville's official enrollment is 22,640 and it fields, you guessed it, 21 varsity sports teams. Player 10 appears to be Brian Bowen, as he's the only guy to commit to Louisville in that late May, early June time frame, plus, he's the type of five-star who could cost $100,000. The second and third paragraphs is where we see really damning accusations against Patino. 
Patino is believed to be coach too, which means this complaint accuses him of calling Gatto after being told Bowen needed more money. The third of three calls between Patino and Gatto came two days before Bowen's commitment. If you connect the dots, the complaint alleges that Patino did indeed have direct knowledge of the pay-for-commitment scheme. Personnel changes Patino was put on administrative leave a day after the complaints were released, and he was officially fired on October. 16. Patino has sued both Adidas and Louisville. Louisville is suing Patino for wrongful conduct detrimental to the university. Louisville hired David Paget, who coached under Patino last season, as its new head coach. Louisville also fired assistant coach Jordan Fair and placed another assistant, Kenny Johnson.